The red is going away from the radar. The green is going towards. That's where we can see that confirmed rotation. This is a tornado. Look how stunning it is over the Tulsa skyline. It's pink. Look at this. You can start to see an inflow. This is what we see when we see a classic supercell. This high pressure system has been building in southern Colorado. It's going to be blocking out the storms, keeping us hot. We have a high pressure system out west, a low pressure system over Missouri. In between is what we call the pressure gradient, and a high pressure gradient means strong winds. I feel like I'm in a winter wonderland. You're heading out to the Porter Peach Fest. It's going to start scorching hot 107 degrees and the sun's going to begin to feel more intense. So you get ready to put on your sunglasses. It seems to be getting stronger or at least getting a better structure. Now this is located East 150th Road and South 4350 Road moving northeast. It's a great game tonight, but I think the Tigers are going to take it away with the win storm system we were watching yesterday now positioned over Louisiana, moving its way to the east. And as it does that, cloud cover going to be moving off by sunrise. It looks like a Bowers arch. The Boeing indicates more of a damaging wind threat. We are on US 64 headed southeast. Currently we're in Cleveland and it is pouring down rain. It's Friday out there and it's also a fry day. Very hot outside already and it's not even noon confirmed large dangerous tornado if you're in Baxter Springs. Look at that today. Oh my gosh, this sunrise on this Friday is fantastic. You can see some of the buildings glowing. They are sparkling out there. We've got orange and pink hues. I love this start of the day. If you want to go outside and admire it, I would definitely recommend having a jacket. That's because temperatures along the Kansas border near freezing for the rest of us mid 30s throughout the board. Jackets a must this morning. I would recommend layers though. We've got clear skies, which means plenty of sunshine this afternoon. But then we're going to start seeing gusty winds. That's going to ramp up that fire threat. I'll be talking about that plus rain chances to start off next week. But today, no rain chances in sight. Mostly sunny skies, breezes coming from the north. That's after that cold front passed through yesterday. You can see it. Currently, it's moving its way through Texas and Louisiana. That means we'll be a couple of degrees cooler today. But don't let that stop you from getting outside. Be an excellent day to play some tennis. Getting to the upper 40s by 10 a.m. Mostly sunny skies. Grab those sunglasses. Getting to the upper 50s by 1 o'clock. Calm wind. This is the main difference between yesterday and today. We're not going to see those gusty winds and temperatures about five degrees cooler. Yesterday we got to 68. Today, Tulsa topping off at 62. Across green country, some folks are going to struggle to even make it into the 60s prior. Only going to make it to 59 degrees this afternoon. Hard to complain, but if you need something to complain about, probably going to be those allergies out there. In fact, tree pollen has been registering as high due to cedar and elm trees. So if you suffer from allergies, I would recommend taking your allergy medicine, especially because you don't want something to get you down on a weekend this beautiful, both Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s, mostly sunny skies. I do want to point out it is going to be a bit on the gusty side. And because of that, if a fire sparks, it can rapidly get out of control. In fact, our maximum spread rate over 230 feet per minute this weekend. Definitely be careful with flames. Rain chances starting to pick up Sunday evening into Monday. Not out of the question. We can see an isolated thunderstorm. So definitely stay weather aware. Have a way to get weather information. Also a heads up. We do have the time change happening this weekend. When you go to bed on Saturday, set your clocks forward by one hour. That way you're not off on the time for the rest of next week when it's forecasted to be rather soggy. But temperatures in the 70s. Now let's go to Chris for a look at max traffic.